Hello guys, this is Sushant. So welcome to your channel that is Sci Engineers. So the registration and the verification round of the cap round has been done. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and do hit the bell icon which is just beside the subscribe channel so that you do not miss any new uploads which will be done on this particular channel. Also please hit the like button and please do share as much as you can. We are associated with Samartha Vidya classes which is for engineering and science student. We conduct classes for for the engineering BE, BTEC and also for the diploma level students. We also conduct classes for the 11th and 12th PCMB group and also for vocational students. We also prepare students for the engineering entrances. We do conduct group and private home tuitions and to contact us you can contact us at samarthavidya at the rate gmail.com. The links are given below. There is a 10% discount which is going out for all the subscribers for the first year of engineering. So do avail for this discount. So let's get going. Now the, after the 17th of June on the 19th there will be a provisional list which will be displayed. This is going to be the provisional merit list wherein you will be understanding what is going to be the merit number. If you have any grievances then you have to visit your nearest FC to get any correction rectified. This is to be done from 20th to 21st of June. On the 22nd of June there will be display of all the seats which are available in each and every institute and according to various categories of the seat. And from 23rd onwards there will be the filling up of the option form which is the most important form for the cap round one. Now people who want to apply via institute level seats or who do not wish to apply via the cap round, they can do so by visiting the institutes and filling up their required forms. But they have to get themselves registered at the nearest FC with the required documents. Now this particular registration for the non cap round seats can be done till 10th of August. Now this particular is not for the cap round people who are applying via cap round. The date has been done that is for the 17th of June was a date for verification of the documents and registration. Now after you get the seat matrix that is the amount of seats which are available at each and every institute then people will be able to fill in their option forms from 23rd onwards. This is going to be from 23rd to 26th of June. So this is basically the schedule which is going to be followed before the cap round one begins. Now one thing which you should start preparing for the option form to be filled is you have to decide on the institutes you want to apply for and also you should decide upon what are the various branches you would apply for in that particular institute. Once that particular thing is finalized, then you can make a list of it. This will help you in filling up your option form in a neat way. You have to understand the filling up of the option form is very important because they will be allotting the seat according to your preferences. So if your preference is not according to your requirement, then you might land up into a wrong college. Now but for preparation of your option form, you have to consider some points. The first point which you should always consider is the field of your choice. You can have about two to three different fields which you would like to go for. We have tried to help you in deciding of the field by posting up videos on different fields and explaining them what the fields are related to. So you can just go through the videos of different fields so that it might help you in choosing your field. So once the field has been decided then you can go for the institutes. You have to understand the in different institute will be offering different fields in them. So you have to choose that particular institute which is offering your field of choice. Once the field of institutes has been decided upon, then you can go on listing those fields according to your preference. Now the preference can be based upon different criteria. First criteria will be the type of institute, whether it is going to be a government institute, whether it is a private institute or is it a minority institute. We have already discussed the seat allotments in different institute in our video about the cap round. So you can just go through that video and understand the different allotments of different colleges and the percentage of seats which are allotted for different categories of students. 
So one more thing which we should consider is what particular category you are belonging to. Once the understanding of the type of institute is done, then you have to go for the popularity of that particular institute. Because the popularity will be deciding various other choices, whether the, the whether there is a campus placement which is coming to the college, the quality of teaching which is present in that college. The other main point which you should consider is whether the branch has been accredited or not. Now accreditation is given to a particular branch of an institute. So it basically helps you in deciding whether which of the fields are good in that particular institute. So do give a priority to fields which have been accredited in different institutes. If the field is of your choice then do go for that particular choice. The other thing which you should consider while selection of the institute is the campus placement because that is going to be the important criteria for you joining the engineering field so that after four years of your college you should be able to get a job from that particular college. Also, if there is a factor which you want to consider is that is the distance of the college from your place, then that should be also considered while choosing of the college. Once all these factors have been considered, then you can jot them down according to your preference. Whichever criteria you are giving the priority to, according to that, you can just list down the institutes in order. So whichever institute you are preferring the most should be written at the top and so on. You can get the list of institutes which are present in and around your area via the DTE site which is providing you all the information about the institute, what are the number of seats available, what are the different branches which are available in that institute and whether the field has been accredited or not. So please do go to the site DTE and check out for those institutes. Now on 22nd June you will be getting your final merit list wherein you will be understanding what is going to be the merit number allotted to you. So merit number is so merit number is nothing but the ranking according to the all over Maharashtra ranking which is given to you. So this will help you in understanding which particular institute you can get easily into. The DTE side has provided with the cutoffs of the previous years for different rounds that is the first, second and the third round for different institutes according to various categories with their CET marks and also the merit number of the student. We have also provided the link for that in the description below. Now let us try to understand what basically the merit number is. Now merit number is allotted to you depending on the CET marks which you have scored. To solve the tie between two and more students, it is solved by checking their mathematics CET marks, then going for the physics CET marks and then at the end going for the chemistry CET marks. If there is still a tie breaker to be done, then they will be going for the HSC, Maths, Physics and Chemistry according to that priority. So after you have got the merit ranking, then what you can do is whatever list which you have prepared, you can just go through it and while preparing that list, one thing you have to do is you have to refer to the cutoffs of the previous years and also jot them down along with the name of the institute. So this will help you in understanding whether for your particular merit list you will be able to get into that institute or not. Your merit number is going to be the most important criteria which will be deciding whether you are going to get into an institute or not. So please do emphasize on the merit number rather than the CET marks. Once you have got your merit number, what you can do is you can go through the institutes which you have listed down and check with them whether there is a possibility of getting into that institute or not. Now let us try to understand what are the options basically will be comprising of. Each and every option will be deciding the institute and the branch which that institute has. Now if you are going for a particular institute and you want to apply in that same institute for three different branches, it will be consuming your three options from the option form. So you have to understand that each and every option is basically going to specify the institute name along with the branch you want to prefer for. So depending on the preference of the institute, you will be filling up the different preferences. Either you can give priority to the field of your choice. That means you can first give preference, let us say for computer engineering and fill up all the computer engineering of different institute first. Or what you can do is you can give preference to the institute and the various fields you have chosen in that particular institute. Now one thing you should consider while going by any method is if you are going to go by the 
field option that is you are preferring the field over the institute then there might be a chance of getting into an institute which is going to be below your level so always have a mix and match of the institute preference and the field preference so if you are feeling that a particular institute is not going to be good for you then you can keep that institute along with that particular choice of branch below the other options so while filling up the option form what you have to do is at least decide upon so decide upon the number of options you would like to fill you can fill up to 300 maximum and you have to fill minimum at least one so that is all for now we'll be discussing more on these cap rounds as we get more information on it if there is any important update which we will be getting we'll be obviously sharing with you guys if you from your side if you have any important things to be told please do so in the comment section so this is sushant signing off for today we are from samartha vidya we take classes for the engineering and diploma students. We also conduct classes for the PCMB group for the 11th and 12th along with the entrance exam and the vocational subject. We do provide private home tuitions also. For more information about us, you can go to our Facebook page that is Samartha Vidya. The link is being provided in the description below. Also, if you want to contact us, you can contact us at the email address which is samarthavidya at the rate gmail.com so please do like the video please do share the video please do comment out to our videos so keep watching keep learning and happy learning bye